Hey, aloha, mahalo. Uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, so I installed a solar uh, off-grid uh, system uh, for our cabana here on our ranch. Um, this is a um, an inverter, uh, EG4, 3,000 kilowatts, 48 volts. Um, or, um, yeah, and I'm playing with it here, and as you can see, it's charging the battery and also providing power for the house. So I think uh, there's enough sun today to do both. And uh, I'm very surprised with this. Uh, it's it's charged the battery for I I can almost say, yeah I can certainly say it's one day, and it's charged up the batteries. Um, so that's how I connect it. So as you can see, I use 10 gauge wires for the connection from the solar panels. Uh, down there, so if you see the PV over there, PV in and AC out, PV in is from the solar coming in, AC out is going out to the main panel. Um, yeah, and uh, so yeah, those just different wires, uh, but but they're both um, 10 gauges. Uh, so I have a breaker here, so you can see there's a breaker um, or kill switch or whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, it kills the power from the solar down, so it protects your inverter. So that's the battery that I use, Ruixu, um, 48 volts, uh, 100 amp hours. Um, this one battery is enough to power the entire house. Um, I, I've used anything, and I, you know, so those are the connections for your communication port and your Wi-Fi, uh, so you can monitor it. Um, that's the bus bar that I use because those are, I have two different connections. And then another breaker, that's the breaker from the inverter to the battery or the battery to inverter. Uh, so, so when you turn it off, the power from the battery to inverter. Um, so yeah, this is kind of the heart of the system. Um, I'll show you where my panels are. Um, yeah, so I already put up my panels. So as you can see, we already have power here. The outlets are all powered up. We have switches, we have everything. So the whole house is powered, you know, off grid, but it's it's powered. Um, yeah, so that's my main panel. Um, show you a little bit here. You can see, come on, guy, open it up, open it up. There you go. So in the panel, you'll see I use a 30 amp as the main breaker coming from the um, from the inverter. So you see there, 30 amp. And then on the right here, you see 15 amp uh, circuit and a 20 amp. Uh, circuit and also a 15 uh, amp circuit. So those 15 amp circuits, I use those for lights. At the 20 amp uh, circuit, I use it for um, for for the outlets, uh, so I can you know plug in more stuff. So as you can see, the yellow is the 12 gauge uh, wire um, that I use for my outlets. Uh, I believe the the lights, the white one is 14 gauge. Um, I'm not an electrician. I'm I'm just a DIYer here, so. Um, you know, you can laugh at my work here, but you know, so far it works. Lights are on, switches are working, outlets are working, no error whatsoever. So I I'm happy, you know, you can plug in the coffee there. In fact, I'm drinking coffee right now, I'm making coffee this morning. It runs the router and all sorts of things. It runs charging my laptop, charging my iPad, charging my, uh, uh, my Samsung phones. I want to go over again uh, my panel. Uh, as you can see here, I use um, the 15 amp um, breaker. Um, so, sorry, it's, yeah, so I separate the neutral um, bar from the uh, grounding bar. Um, but I don't know, this is the main panel, so I'll probably use the bonding screw to, to bond them all together. Anyway, so the white wires are 14 gauge wires that I use for my lightings. As you can see here, uh, it, 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 it powers um, the light in the living room. You know, I called it living room, but you know, this is a very tiny house. Ah, coffee tastes good this morning. Yeah, especially on the ranch. So there you go. Um, we're not done with uh, the finishing touches of this house. So 
uh, bear with the bare bones out there. See, you can see the rafters or beams or whatever you want to call those choices. I don't know. This is a flat roof. Um, yeah, I'm a DIYer. Just you know, just work, work, work. I, I, you know. And then so it comes down here. I have a chunks and box here that collect all these crazy wires, and then uh, from there it goes to different um, things like the lights outside the house. So I have two different switches here: one for inside, one for outside the house. Yeah. And I'll show you that one outside in a little bit here. Um, but I'm pretty happy with the electrical setup of this uh, this house. Nothing is more educational than DIY stuff, you know. I've already done uh, one in the States. Um, so there you go, that's the light outside. Um, so that's the one in the States, uh, I've done it. So that's why this one is much, much easier for me. Um, just pick out my wires, just pick out my wires and lightings and, um, and then continue to do the work. Uh, let's see where this one goes. Interesting. It brings us outside. Looks like it. But anyways, um, don't be afraid to to try things out and uh, do research. Go online. Sorry about this. So now we're going back to the main panel. Yeah. The orange uh wire over there is the 10, 10 gauge wire that comes from the inverter to the main panel um so there's another circuit 15 uh amps breaker and a, a circuit uh, goes there you see i also have a junction box right there showing because i will also connect the lightings to the kitchen or whatever um that i yeah, there's another small room that I plan to put a stove or whatever in there. So this is the junction box. So yeah, that's just me looking out to the future and see what I needed to do. So I may cut this wire and then connect another switch or whatever. So it can run another line for, um, for a light or two to the back side of the house, you know. Yeah. There's the switch uh, for a different room where I have my unit. Um, so that's the battery right there. Um, and there are my solar panels. As you can see, there are uh, three, up, three up there, I believe. One, two, three, four, actually four of them. Four of them on that rack, and one is lying down here. It's not ready to be put on the rack yet. Um, yeah, so um, these are 450 watts um, panels. I uh, believe they're 16, 15 amp each. Um, I put them in a series. Uh, I think this is more than enough. It charged my battery within a day. And it's cloudy and uh, rainy and like crazy. So there's not even enough sun and it's already charged my battery and provide power to. But but it's always a good idea to have extra, right? All right, guys. Thank you so much. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Uh, I'll post more videos uh, of, of my work here on the ranch uh, as we go along uh, or sailing along in this vast uh, ocean. Sorry guys, see I lied. Yeah, I just wanna talk more about these solar panels. They're they're bifacial, they're charging from both sides of the panel. So that is why I stand them up like that. So the sun can um you know hit both sides of the uh the panels. Um yeah, so it's not quite you know hundred percent done. I have to secure it and all that stuff. I order more um, you know, 
parts of it, the frame. So, um, yeah, that is coming in within the next few days. Um, just want to let you guys know those are 450 watts. I believe they're 15 or 16 amp each. Uh, I do them in a series. Um, the red is the positive and the black is the negative and just you know put on the breaker that I showed you earlier and there you go so subscribe subscribe thank you very much I really appreciate you all and aloha mahalo